Hi guys again. So after the last video, I got a lot of messages asking me how I did this. Let's try it again, shall we? So what we start with is just a plain video of me pretending to throw a key. As you can see, I don't have the key anymore. Uh, I just had it initially and then dropped it on my lap. So I could sell the effect more. I'm pretending to um, hold still. Actually, I'm holding still. Um, to pretend like that's a slow motion shot. It's gonna be blurry anyway. This is uh, in 120 FPS or in 180. This is just a key hanging from the uh, from a small thread and I've got the green screen behind it and as you can see this is the same exact spot for camera just because I wanted lighting too much and it's quite important also keep in mind I may be on the hindsight a little bit too close to the green screen if I was a little bit further maybe there wouldn't be so much of a spill right there but anyway let's go to after effects Right click on both clips, click on replace After Effects with After Effects composition. Uh, okay, so these are four audio tracks, I do not need that. This clip is already slightly scaled just because uh, I had poor framing and there was a lot of junk. By the way, to show all keyframes, press U and you can see every keyframe that was used and press it again to hide it. So first of all, we drag this to the bottom, we drag this to the top. Let's see where I uh, started to throw the key. And bang, this would be our first frame. So first thing first, uh, what I'll be using is the uh, FX console from Video Copilot, super useful, highly recommended. Press control space and type it for what you want. And the first one would be a key light, which we will use to key out our uh, green. Also, I'll add the mask to get rid of everything else. This is fairly stable. Um, if it was more wiggly, I would have to remove the uh, threads manually, but I think this will work for now. Mm, we can see that the key is not perfect, so we will have to uh, play just a little bit with the uh, screen mat. So for this shot, uh, let me see the screen mat. So I have to clip black just a little bit and clip white quite a lot, like 40. I mean, it totally depends. Uh, Actually, the using the key with a reflective surface is suboptimal because you can always see some green spill here and there. So if you can, just don't use the reflective things. After that, you add the matte choker, which you can see makes a slight difference, but it's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna feather this quite a bunch. I think I'm gonna, I was playing around with this one. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Oh, sorry. And yep. So, without my chucker with, it cuts away just a little bit of the key, but it shows like that. It's not a big of a deal. Okay. So let's go through, uh, by the way, with B and N, you create the work area, which uh, After Effects will constantly uh, play the footage. Okay, we can see that the uh, mask is covering the key just a tiny bit. Uh, let's feather the mask quite a bit. Uh, use the F key to feather. It should be good. Yeah. Okay. That works. Okay, so now 
in my opinion, by far the hardest part, uh, which is animating the uh, key position in such a way that it looks natural. First of all, I'm going to do it uh, with a 3D layer. Um, so I'm clicking um, this option, which makes the uh, key layer a 3D layer, uh, with which I can move uh, the layer from and towards me, uh, which I will use right here. So uh, let's make a keyframe. Let's make it stuck position. We can use the scale uh, for the same effect in that case, and it wouldn't really matter. Maybe the path animation would be slightly different, but it's just the way I prefer to do it. Remember, in After Effects, there are a thousand ways to do one thing. Okay, I created the keyframe by accident. Uh, let's move it just further. Okay, so that looks like it's in proper uh, place. Mm, I think I will also animate rotation. And let's try right like so. We don't want to overdo it with the rotation just because uh, the light um, would not match. Now we try to match the hand. Let's say it would be somewhere around here. Okay, so now we have to move closer to us uh, to make it quicker. Just press shift to move, uh, to move slower. Press command. We want this to go closer to us and we want to rotate it just slightly. Okay, now it's all about making it uh, look good. I'm gonna easy ease these keyframes. Um, gonna ease in this keyframe. Let's see how this looks. Okay, so so uh, if you don't see these handles after you click the uh, easy ease. Just right click on the keyframe, keyframe interpolation and change all of them to Bezier. So that way you can manipulate every piece of it by hand and you can direct the way that these, uh, these lines go. And this, these lines layers path. So you can see that it doesn't go straight from this point to this point anymore. It just goes in slight curve, which looks way better, uh, way more natural. And also you can, you don't have to change the position right here of the keyframe. You can just grab it right here and move it. And the keyframe changes with it. And back here, we'll do almost the same thing, but we're gonna Slightly move it forward so it's still moving, slightly rotate it so it keeps progressing through the still point. Is it is in? Oh, let's just do is it is. So the difference between these guys, if you don't know, is just uh, the way the curve, the curve of the change will be approaching that keyframe. So if uh, the change is coming from the left and you want it to be gradual only from the left just pick easy is in if you want a gradual change coming from the right just pick easy is out and from both sides easy is okay so let's just play around with these keyframes Okay, so after we got our keyframe, this is what it looks like. This is looking ugly, but bear with me. The next thing 
I want to do is to do the zoom, which we're going to animate position P, hold shift, click S, which would add the scale. Uh, do a keyframes for both of, both of these. Okay, let's start it about here. Let's do it. Easy is out. Bum. Let's do it here. Um, the zoom will be about 180. It's fine. Assistant time reverse keyframes, so it just flips them. Uh, okay, this is what it looks like. Okay, this is just a little too slow for my taste. I'm gonna hold it. Yeah, this is looking okay, but it's still a little too harsh. So I'm gonna pull these. Together. Bring them back out. We're gonna do the same thing. Here. Okay, see what it looks like. Uh, let's add camera lens blur from here and it should be zero. From here. To, let's say uh, about here. Okay, let's copy over this keyframe. Uh, here. Let's bring it back down to zero. Uh, let's create an adjustment layer. Place it. Just a bit these zooms. Add radial blur. Change it to zoom. Change center from here to here. Uh, amount zero. Here zero because we're not. Anymore, and let's put the max here of 50. Okay, so let me just that down. Let's hide it. Um, okay. So let's do easy is, easy is in, easy is out. That zoom looks just a time. Now let's double this layer. Let's remove the oh well, maybe let's keep the blur. Um, let's mask the hand. So uh, let's create a mask. Rough, really rough mask around where my fingers would be. Let's animate the path. I'm sorry, we got to turn the motion blur on. Done. Okay, let's see. And that's about it. Feel free to play around with the keyframes or whatever you want. Just try to make it uh, as natural as possible. Okay guys, uh, hope you learned something. Um, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. See you.